Welcome. Hello, I'm Bob, and this is Let's Get Retro in association with RetroMundem.com. So for your viewing pleasure today, we have Cyborg Justice. Yes, it's just a cyborg style. Um, this is on the Mega Drive slash Genesis. Um, 1993, uh, a company called Nova Trade, who made many other games that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. See, preparation. I don't know what that word means. Um... Yeah, basically, it, it's a scrolling beat-em-up, but it's got a claim to fame. Um, yes, Wreck-It Ralph. It's actually, uh, one of the characters in this uh, shows up in um, Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, hang on, I'm just going to show you it over this lovely scene here. There he is, there. Yes, anyway, as you can see now, our lovely uh, protagonist has crashed his spaceship, and he's been turned into a robot as you can see from these side is that are they sine waves i forget um squares basically sawtooth no they're not sawtooth uh, anyway um it's kind of vaguely along the lines of the plot to quake 4 you get turned into a robot and you lose all your limbs and get robot limbs instead and you're in the middle of being reprogrammed when something happens um as you should see here. By the way, uh, if you remember rightly, his the character name in Wreck It Ralph, in a little tiny cutscene you see, is 101101, which is if you look at the first couple of numbers there, it's that one you reversed. So uh, that says 101101. Lots of ones. But during the mind erasure pro uh, process. Something goes horribly wrong, or I suppose from the protagonist's point of view, it's horribly right. Um, yeah, here we go. Anyway, it's all an excuse to give you a st stupendously huge robot body so you can beat the crap out of other robots. Error. Error. You don't get these computer type displays anymore. Even, you know, that sort of teletexty, teletypey noise. Anyway, that yellow guy is us. See? He looks a little bit like the uh, dude from Wreck-It Ralph. Explosions are happening, which means, you know, you're in control of your body again. Seek and destroy. So there you go. Bit of animation there. Shooting this sparkly gun at you. Okay, let's kick this off. So... You get a choice at the start of the game as to what um, limbs you want. That's, there's a various different ones. I'm not going to show you them all because I'll ruin the surprise. Because you're not stuck with what you um, start the game off with. Oh no! You can basically go and you can pull the arms and legs off the other robots. A bit like a cruel child would do to a fly. Um, except flies don't have arms. Alright, so my stupendously cool ship flies off and I'm wandering around. So, uh, it's a surprising amount of control here. It, it makes it very hard to control because, um, kicking in the nuts, by the way, helps. There is a move, and it's kind of hard to time right, but, uh, there is a move where you can, um, basically, uh, get close to the guys. I think you hold down A and pull back at exactly the right moment and you can rip their arms off. And then you've got an option between, um, keeping the arm, uh, in other words, throwing your, pulling your own one off and putting their new super cool upgrade arm onto yourself, uh, throwing it at the bad guy, or else, um, I think you can just put it on the ground if you want, you know, to, for, to be recycled later. So it's a pretty novel idea because, I mean, uh, you know, other games, other beat-em-ups, scrolling beat-em-ups have that thing where, uh, you know, you can take a baddie's weapon and they can hit a couple of bad guys with it and then, you know, your sword stops working, just like in real life. Um, or you get to the end of the level and you drop it for no apparent reason and walk away. Um, so this, like I said, it, it's taken it a step further. You can rip their arms and legs off. You can, um, I don't know if you see that the legs are coming back together. There's a move you can do that basically puts the robot back together. And you get a bit of extra health for doing it for no reason. Um, and then you fight them again. There's lots of little things. You can do a little move in midair. If you time it right, um, you basically land, you grab them midair and, uh, Oh, yeah, there you go. And he's down again. Um, yeah, basically, if you land exactly right, you uh, 
grab them midair, do lots of damage to them and recover some health. If you time it wrong, you will land on your arse on the ground and fall to pieces. It's a... Uh, you don't... You really want to do it properly. Oh, I hate this jump. This is the advantage to having the somersault legs. Um, you know, you can just skip... You just jump over that completely. I like these big robot legs. I like the... Um, if you can see, I've actually gone for the... Uh, the buzzsaw to give him that Wreck-It Ralph look. Uh, the 101, 101. There we go, look! I did it somehow. So let's get rid of that and give myself a little... Uh, morning star type arm thing. So it's a very complex game. I mean, well, okay, it's a beat em up. It's not that complex, but it's not just press A to punch, you know. It, it kind of suffers a bit because it's very fiddly to get the hang of the controls. They're not really intuitive, as you can see from the fact I'm doing some sort of weird sachet move. Um, but you have a lot of... The animation's nice. Um, the fact you can mix it up is pretty good. There's end-of-level bosses, which I'm probably not going to show you, but the end-of-level bosses, you can actually pull their arms off as well and give yourself superpowers. Oh, I like it. The fair play versus brutality. I don't think this game ever came out on any of the um, uh, virtual consoles. So, yeah, really, your only option is a dirty, dirty emulation or else picking up a copy off eBay. Uh, it's not too expensive. I have an unboxed copy um, I picked up for a couple of quid. There's also uh, a two-player mode, and there's also a two-player battle mode, which is pretty cool. That thing in the ground there is a trap, so the guys can walk into that and they get stuck and you can, you know, beat the crap out of them. Um, because I've got super big boots, uh, as you can see, they're super big legs. I actually can't uh, get stuck in those, which is nice. I hate those missiles. They just appear out of nowhere and then, you know, well, that's it. Just try and grab some imaginary guy that isn't there. As I said, the controls are really fiddly. It, it's kind of a Marmite thing because the idea of the game is great. I mean, I remember when I was in school, I uh, I had an idea for, you know, you'd... You'd go around battling all the, the bad guys in a horror films and you could use their limbs and graft them onto yourself at the end. Because I didn't know what copyright was back then. And it's a kind of similar idea to this, except with robots. And actually, now I think about it, it's nothing like it at all. But the the fact that you can mix and match as you play is pretty cool. And there's a lot of different, you know, strategies of bringing your health back up. Um, the only problem is you've got a couple of levels of the same boring old backgrounds and then the background changes slightly. I mean, it's not like, say, Streets of Rage. Um, or Final Fight, any of those games where you've got a lot of variation. It, it does feel very samey, which is a pity because, you know, the game is good. Um, but at the end of the day, you, you end up fighting the same... The bad guys are just made up of different combinations of limbs. Um, which sounds weird when I say that loud, but they're different combinations of the, the, the different types of limbs. Um, and it gets a bit samey after a while. So, like I said, it's a Marmite game. I like it, but, you know, sometimes it does, you know... Get, you, basically, you might find it a bit boring, you know? Depending on how much you like, you know, ripping arms off and attaching them to yourself. It's like some sort of crazed vivisectionist. Anyway, that's me nearly done because I'm not going to last much longer. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm kind of cutting down the videos a bit because I have a ton of stuff going on. But I, oh, before I forget, big shout out to Gamesbloke. Uh, listen, thanks very much for the mention, mate. Uh, always appreciate it. It was great crack with you on the podcast. Uh, so, uh, oh, I see you got a webcam now. I think you did, if I remember right, you didn't have a webcam for it. So, uh, uh, fair play, man. Um, anyway, I gotta, I gotta go because I'm getting my ass handed to me here. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I shall have something interesting next time. Uh, not that this isn't interesting, but, uh, something a bit unusual for my next video if I actually get around to recording it. So, uh, thanks for watching, lads and ladies, and see you next time.
Oh, where's the exit? I know it can kind of kill the game, but occasionally I would love to have a map. You know, just a little, you know, top down thing. What's that now? What's that? What crazy stuff does that do? Oh, for God's sake. I'm not stupid, Mr. Commentator. I know how to open the door. I hit it with my axe. Exit. I'm looking for the exit. Yeah, it's a pity now that they're, you know, Gauntlet hasn't been rebooted again. I mean, there was the Seven Sorrows game, which is just abysmal. I will cover it just because I have to, but I, I'm really not a fan of it. Uh, it looks more like Golden Axe than... Uh, oh, it, this is opened. Uh, it plays more like Golden Axe than, than Gauntlet. Um, I've actually never finished it. I got about halfway through and just got bored. Um, and then there was the DS one, which looked absolutely fantastic and was cancelled because just... Oh, I don't know. Uh, it was cancelled and they reused a lot of the... Um, bits and bobs from it to make the G.I. Joe DS game. So, yay. Um... As I mentioned before, if you have a copy of that on DS and want to give me it, because there was a review copy and everything. Retro Gamer reviewed it and gave it lots of high score. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised no one's tried to you know reboot Gauntlet again, because it's such a good system. I suppose they'll try to make it a bloody MMO. I'm a level 25 Valkyrie. Um, Okay, these guys are these are bomb throwers here, um, as I mentioned. Other levels, like I said, they've got like uh, you know jackals and things. And there's an Egyptian level. There's a well, I'm trying to think now. I, I'm pretty more from, oh keys. Uh, I'm more familiar with Dark Legacy, but um, I know there's things like there's a Plague Town level, and there's a I'm pretty sure there's a medieval level and a uh, Egyptian level. Dark Legacy is all sorts of cool stuff, like a dream level and all this kind of thing. Uh, Alright, looks this is the end. This is the end, folks! Okay, um... Right, my... I'm going to stop playing for a little bit, because I'm feeling a bit dodge. Um, damn you, sinus I just... I'm going to come back anyway, and I'll just... If I can get to a treasure room or something interesting, I'll just do add it on to the end of the video, because we're nearly, we're nearly at the 18 minutes mark now. Okay, jump cut ahoy! Okay, you rejoin me at the end of level three. Yeah, it's what it says in the tin. Um, it's basically, it, it, it's great. It gives you the original gauntlet uh, top-down view uh, and the gauntlet levels. Um, I think you define. I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't think you need to find an exit, but you can only collect so many of these um, jewels. They give you a bonus. I'm not sure. Like I said, there's there's bonuses throughout the game. Um, if you get some major kind of uh, unlockables, you can actually unlock uh, these sort of super characters. Like his his super character is a minotaur. There's a falcon. There's a uh, a sort of I can't remember what else there is now. Like I said, I'm all thinking of Gauntlet Legacy where you've got like a snake, a uh, Medusa woman and all this kind of stuff. I don't think you need to get the exit to, uh, to get out of here. I think you can just let time run out. But uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, that's just been a treasure room. Just thought I'd add that on. Um, I didn't rec like I said, I didn't record most of my footage of level 3 because I was just too slow and oh, it took forever. Um, i got to redo it now because you have an option of doing that treasure room or finishing the level. So i got to read back and start it all over again. Yay. Anyway, listen, uh, I do love the gauntlet, so. Um, listen, thanks for watching, guys. I shall be doing updates. Um, I'll hopefully have some more good videos in the next couple of days anyway. And then I'm probably going to be going to one video a week. So, thanks for watching, guys. And girls and girls, thanks for watching and see you next time.